Welcome everyone to the bunker. I'm the Derby Nerd here with Kate Silver and you are watching the Layer9.ca presentation of the 2017 rollout. Gonna have a pretty good night of uh, Derby here. Two games coming up including uh, a shorter game to kick things off tonight. And Kate, is this your first rollout? This is my first rollout. I just moved to Toronto last year so I'm really excited to check this out. Tell me about the history of this. In nine, it was called Clam Slam at the time. So this is the ninth edition of Rollout that we've wow. had. And uh, there are 12 leagues represented tonight in the two games. And we've had skaters from all over North America uh, play at this tournament or in this event, including skaters from Bay Area Derby Girls, from DC Roller Girls, from uh, Naptown. Um, we've had skaters literally from uh, East, West, North, and South play in this tournament. That's really incredible to hear. Here. And so as I understand it, this This weekend, starting on Thursday, and there's events Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so this is gonna, a good place for queer skaters and their allies to join in, have a good time, skate with friends. Absolutely. Derby, of course, is famous for its great names, and the names are even better at They're rollouts. They're really good. And so we're going to kind of feed them out to you over the course of uh, this first game, which is going to feature two teams, the Blundstone Brigade and the Glitterazzi. They skate as these teams uh, for the last few years, but of course there's not a lot of continuity in these teams. Yeah. Um, they do try and balance them out uh, so that we get good, close games, and to be honest, they're usually uh, pretty close. That's great. That's exciting. The Blundstone Brigade, that's, that's as I understand it, the Blundstone is a type of shoe. I'm not Canadian, not from <laughs> Toronto, but the Blundstone is a type of shoe that is very famous with the... with, with In Australia. It's an Australian, Australian shoe. Company, yeah, That's yeah. right, yeah. But also famous in Canada. All right, we're going to take you to the action now uh, here at the bunker. These teams are warming up now. This is the Glitterazzi warming up. We have Blossom practicing with the star on her helmet. We are running a little bit late. We don't usually have events on Thursday nights. It's pretty tough to get to Downsview Park, go figure, on a Thursday night. So uh, we're just waiting for our bodies to arrive, and uh, that's put us a little bit behind. So we're going to go to game in about four minutes. I think we're going to take a quick break, though, and we'll be back in about four minutes with the first game of the 2017 rollout.
All right, and we are back once again. The Bunker 2017 Rollout. This is a Laerdine production in coordination with Toronto Roller Derby. Once again, I'm the Derby Nerd here with Kate Silver. And we are just about to get our first game underway, the Blundstone Brigade and the Glitterazzi. And as our venue announcer, Bill Murray, introduces these two teams, we will uh, let you know who they are, uh, who the skaters are, and where they skate from. We've, as I mentioned uh, in our introduction, we've got 12 leagues represented. That's a lot of leagues, tonight. nerd. It is. And all from uh, Ontario, except of course Queen City, um, sending a few representatives to play tonight. They're honorarily Ontarian Ontarians. <laughs> Absolutely. They've been playing here for as long as we've had derby here uh, in this in this province. So we've got a lot of skaters skating under their, under new names, special names, just for uh, rollout, which is a tradition. And uh, roll, I think some of the most uh, creative names I've ever seen in history Very creative. come from rollout. So first off, we're going to meet the Glitterazzi. They are the skaters in white. Dr. Manhattan, also known as Nom de Gur. Tabama from Niagara Roller Girls, recently just skated here at the bunker against the, the Vipers for Niagara. Gorshak from Toronto Roller Derby, Skates for the champion Chicks Ahoy. We've also got Venus Envy who skates for the Mixon Vixens Pro League. Heckin' Al. Biggie Brawls from Northumberland Roller Girls. <laughs> Beefcake from Toronto Roller Derby. It's a great name. <laughs> it is a great name. May recognize her as Batman. We've got V Rex all the way here from Thunder Bay Roller Derby. And our final skater on the Glitterazzi is Blossom. Skating uh, number 77 here from Toronto Roller Derby. And we got in the black the Blundstone Brigade. The Rainbow Roll skates under Slashimi with the Vipers for Toronto Roller Derby. No slack in the stack, also known as Sherblock, skates at Toronto Roller Derby and on the Chicks Ahoy home team. Nasty Muff, Headlock Holmes from Royal City Roller Derby from Guelph, Ontario. Devon Rex, same name. In the regular season, Toronto Roller Derby. Two Spirit. Great name. Flight of the Concords. They state for Toronto Roller Derby and the Smoke City Bandits. Robosexual. Usually skating under Scandinavian for the Chicks Ahoy and Toronto Roller Derby. Warrior Humper. Resista from Hamilton. Brittany Sears, a.k.a. Killary Durham from Peterborough, by Furious. Typically Betty Rage, coming from Peterborough. Crystal Queer, also known as Gigawatts, skates for the Death Track Dolls in Toronto Roller Derby. And then Showell Wrecker, under the same name, from Niagara Roller Girls. The 
So our first game here will be two 20-minute halves. The second game coming up right after this one will be a full regulation bout. So two 20s playing under the WFTDA rule set. And we will kick things off with the National Anthem. As we mentioned, Rollout kicks off Pride Weekend here in Toronto. And we've had some great events over the year. We had Peaches blow at the opening whistle when uh, World Pride was in Toronto. That's amazing. That was a pretty, she was uh, back in town on uh, Monday. Yes, that's right. And I'm sure Southern Ontario Roller Derby was well represented. Oh, absolutely. In Toronto. I hear there were special shirts made. I uh, might have seen some. Two Spirit. Two spear hits going up against Blossom. Blossom gets through really quickly on the inside there. Blossom skating for the Toronto Vipers. Two Spirit having a hard time getting through this pack. V Rex holding the inside line. Blundstone Brigade setting up in the back, getting ready for Blossom. She's able to get through quickly though. Gets a quick, looks like that. To Glitterati. Blossom holding on there to the last minutes. And you know, this is a pretty fun event. I think everyone is uh, here for a good time. But as soon as that whistle blows, it's funny how the, the roller derby <laughs> just kicks in and the struggle begins on the track. The struggle is so <laughs> real, nerd. You just gotta go at it. Non de Gerd now. Oh, excuse me. Dr. Manhattan against <laughs> Devon Rex. So many, so many non diggers in this, uh, this, this game here. <laughs> exactly. And the doctor gets through Lee Jam for Glitterazzi. Two in a row now for Glitterazzi here early on. Seeing some nice adjustments from the Glitterazzi. hit though from Showa Wrecker but first penalty of the game is going to go to the Blundstone Brigade. Oh a little fall on there. Nasty buff as Dr. Manhattan runs. No call there. Uh, through for a grand slam. Natural grand slam for the Grittarazzi. Devon Rex having a hard time getting through the pack. Moving slowly down the back stretch. And very quickly through, Dr. Manhattan with a nice little move from the outside in. Picks up a grand slam. Glitterazzi out to an early lead. 14-0 now, two minutes in. Devon Rex still looking for some room. Some good tripod work there in the front by the folks in white. Now this game would be defined at an intermediate level. Is yes. uh, what we're calling it. So a lot of members of Toronto's Vipers, for example, skating in this roster. And the Mix and Vixens, too, a, a, a lower contact league here in Toronto that's been operating for quite a few years now. Also representing this game. Another penalty, this time going to uh, Glitterazzi's Squirt L. Squirt L. <laughs> I am all about the Pokemon theme names. <laughs> Dr. Manhattan coming up against the back of Rainbow Roll. Gets knocked out 
exit hit by Shoal Wrecker. Looks like Devon Rex uh, felt the same fate there, both getting recycled around to the straightaway. Jam comes to its natural conclusion. Four more points for the Glitterazzi. Score is 23 to zip Glitterazzi. Niagara Roller Girls show a record looking very good early on here in this first game. We're coming up to just, just over three minutes in. We have an overlay, so we're going to try to remember to keep you updated on the scores. The Toronto Roller Derby season has come to a conclusion. That is correct. This is kind of an add-on bout here at the bunker. This game, this is the first time that we've been to the bunker since 2012 for rollout. Blossom on the line again. She gets out again for a, a quick lead. Crystal Queer now jamming for the Blundstone Brigade. And she's still stuck up in the pack. Heck, an ally in Squirtle and Gorshak. Getting some hits in. And Crystal Queer now through initial pass complete, but Blossom's already picked up a grand slam and is looking for a few more as we just approach the five minute mark here of the opening period. Blossom finds a little room on the outside, picks up a few more points. So that'll put the Glitterazzi up. Let's see what goes up with the GM ref. Looks like that's Major Buzzkill conferring with uh, one of the outside pack refs. Decides not to put any points on the board. Scores 28 to zip Glitterazzi. Big start for the Glitterazzi. One stone brigade. Looking at a bit of a gap now. It's going to be even in, nope, one in the pack, sorry, for the Glitterazzi. So uh, Blundstone Brigade will have a 4-3 pack advantage here and they'll try and get their first points of the game and a quick lead jammer status for Rainbow Roll, who is having a great season for the Vipers as Slashimi. Rainbow Roll has a really fearless style when they jam and uh, really likes those lines as we see there gets out with some points and one of your teammates jamming there for the Glorazzi so the first points on the board for the Blungstone Brigade 28-4 now so on the board feels good to go on the board On the line now for Blundstone Brigade. That's by Furious going up against Dr. Manhattan once again. Glitterazzi playing a pretty tight jammer rotation, seems like. Packs both tucked up tightly against that line. Blundstone Brigade looking to add on a bit of a run here. 4 nothing in that last jam. Great defense off the start. Both jammers stuck up in the pack, all four for the Glitterazzi. Up there, doing some great defense against By Furious. She gets knocked to the end by heckin' Ally. Dr. Manhattan, though, getting out first, lead jam, Glitterazzi. By Furious has done all that work to put, push the pack ahead, but got drawn back and hasn't moved beyond turn one. And Dr. Manhattan around and scoring nice offense there from Blossom, just opening up enough of a lane to allow her jammer through for five. Five Furious keeps on coming up against the butt of Heckin' Ally, doing a great job just staying right on her. Heckin' Ally, one of the more experienced skaters in this game, began uh, skating for Durham Region Roller Derby many years ago now. Skated for the Motor City Madams before transferring to Toronto Roller Derby and skating for the Chicks Ahoy. Five Furious now. Finally out on her initial pass. Dr. Manhattan already with 15 points on the jam. She hits the pack, tries to get a few more fields. Doesn't look like she got any on that, but 15 points for the Glitterazzi. Holds the Blundstone Brigade scoreless for the jam. It looks like uh, Venus Envy is going to get an opportunity, but. Uh we have a timeout now called by the Blundstone Brigade. So again, we are playing a regulation game, and even with the 20-minute halves, each team is getting three timeouts uh, and one official review per half. Uh, that is Hakuna Maitata's on the bench with <laughs> the Blundstone Brigade. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure uh, the jam timer here. Picante, who skates with the Toronto Roller Derby All-Stars, playing the role of leather-clad jam timer. 
<laughs> Even the NSOs are fancy at the rollout. Yeah, Pika was really sporting a really nice mustache. It was uh, very, very much doing a drag king type of thing. <laughs> and you know, events like uh, like this rollout really um, it come from that uh, the the core of the flat track roller derby community and uh, its central role that the LGBTQ community plays in it. And uh, this was actually this event was born out of. Um, the creation of Vagine Regime Canada, uh, which is the Canadian version of Vagine Regime, which I, uh, still operates in the United States, as far as I know. That's correct. Um, and so it was born out of this back in 2009, and Vagine Regime Canada used to play against uh, other teams, um, mm -hmm. but it was always a mixed all-star team, but uh, under that moniker for a few years, the first few years of the Clam Slam. We're back at the action here. Looks like that's Venus Envy skiing for Glitterazzi going against Two Spirit. Two Spirit finds some room on the outside. Lee Jam for the Blundstone Brigade. Show a wrecker with a nice drag back on Venus Envy. And Two Spirit, who does not generally jam for the Smoke City Bandits, but they've got Lee Jammer here and now scoring points. They're looking great out there, finding lots of room on the outside, taking advantage of those holes. But v now getting dragged all the way back by V-Rex, turn one. I think V-Rex has traveled the farthest to be here, coming from Thunder Bay. That's quite a trip. And to the best of my knowledge, the first skater from Thunder Bay to skate in this event. There is a, a former Thunder Bay skater, one of the co-founders of Thunder Bay Roller Derby, um, skates for Toronto Roller Derby now, um, Boxcar. Skated for many years in Thunder Bay. There's another Thunder, Day, Thunder Bay alum who just joined the Vipers, Red, uh, Red Zeppelin. Oh, yes, and Red Zeppelin is having an excellent year for the Vipers. Absolutely. Leading, I think it's the leading, she is the leading scorer and jammer for the Vipers this season so far. So it looks like we're on a power jam. Looks like there's a forearm on Venus Envy. So that's going to give more energy to this jam on the Blundstone Parade. So let's see how much ground they can gain on this power jam. And I wonder if coming out of the penalty box, I just noticed that uh, Beefcake, <laughs> skater also known as Batman, is pivoting here. And I wonder if we'll see a star pass coming out of the penalty box from Venus Envy. Speaking of Beefcake, big hit there to Two Spirit. Or two Spirit. And then Beefcake took took a big hit from Crystal Queer. They are, of course, teammates on the Death Track Dolls with you, Kate Silver. Finalists in Toronto Roller Derby this year. Finalists indeed. Just nearing the midway points of this first half, 43-19 Glitterazzi in the white, leading over the Blundstone Brigade, but the Blundstone Brigade just put 15 points down on that last jam to get back into this within 24 now. So that's Squirtle on the line. Little nice opening up of the hips, gets lead jam, neck and neck with Rainbow Roll. Rainbow Roll trying to do some jammer on jammer. Defense, oh, a swing and a miss on Squirtle. Louse it off, <laughs> takes a bow, keeps going. Squirtle does usually play in the pack, is accustomed to mixing it up physically, was trying to get a hit in on the jammer. That's the problem, nerd. <laughs> if you're going fast, especially on this slippy, brunky floor and you Try to do something like that. You're 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 increasing your chances of absolutely biffing it, looking like a total doofus. Ah, uh, but when you do miss, it looks so good. Y you know, for everybody except you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Blossom is going to be jamming again for Glitterazzi. Looks like going against against sure Block or <laughs> also known as No Slack in the Sack. No slack in the sack. No slack having a hard time now. One to beat, but it is Devon Rex, or Biggie Brawls, excuse me. Blossom coming up for her scoring pass. Pushing through tripod of Blundstones. Gets knocked out by Showell Wrecker. 
She's going to call it off, but it looks like the Blundstone Brigade was able to pick up a few. Looks like it's even Steven, 3-3 three to three for both of these teams. And there's going to be, looked like it was going to be a significant pack advantage, but it's going to be 4-3 is how it's going to shake out. Or no, 3-3, three, three, excuse me, it'll be even in the pack. Heck and Ally, Gorshak, and Beefcake out there for Glitterazzi and the Blitz, Blundstone Brigade tucked up against the jam line. That's going to force Glitterazzi back. Devon Rex for the Blundstone Brigade on the outside, but coming right up through the middle, it's Squirtel, the lead jammer for the Glitterazzi. Squirtel taking the moment to redeem herself. Little hop on it inside no one. Caesar, natural grand slam for Squirtle. A nice star pass right over the pack, and now Robosexual is your jammer for the Blundstone Brigade. Also someone we don't see jam a lot, so good to see her with the star in hand. Lots of skaters mixing it up tonight here at Rollouts. And it's a track cut to Squirtle, so it's going to be a power jam Blundstone Brigade. Still down by 29 points. Robosexual, though, looking to cut into that score a bit. No lead jammer on this one, and there's a minute left on the jam clock. Robosexual, one to beat, hits her teammate. Uh, heck, an ally in the front gets through. One to beat. Out of play called on Venus Envy. That is five points for the team in black. Robosexual looking for more. Pack lets her through. Squirtel coming out of the penalty box, hits the pack hard, and there's going to be a back block right back into the penalty box. Power jam continues for the Blundstone Brigade. That's a rough one. First contact right out of the box. Robosexual now pushing up, trying to find some room. Pack is moving at a slow clip. Her team gets a goat in the back. She's out. Five point Grand Slam. <laughs> and Robosexual <laughs> collapses at the start line. A blocker for the Chicks Ahoy in, here in Toronto. <laughs> just crawling off the track. Just don't mind me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a breather here. When you put that pivot stripe on, it means you might be jamming. Five and a half minutes to go here in the opening half. 53-32. Blundstone began with another big jam. They've got 25 of their points on just two jams. So the score now, Glitterazzi 53, Blundstone Brigade 32. Five minutes left in the half. And it looks like a timeout has been called. Not sure to who, but a good opportunity for us to thank some of our sponsors and our vendors who are here tonight. Um, a lot of them have been th with us throughout the year, like Klutz Mega Company, for example. Think of yourself as a gift and put a bow on it. Accessories to outfit the offbeat individual. Gracie Klutz is bringing back her popular pinups by Gracie and adding bow ties and wonder geek bags and purses. Get your flirty plus nerdy fancy on. Klutz Mega Co. Thank you for supporting Toronto Roller Derby all season in the 2017 season. Plus so our, brigade, yeah. Yeah, on our hard analysis of this game so far. <laughs> <laughs> Glitterazzi have just brought more glitter to the track, and therefore they have the lead. I think they've <laughs> been jamming more regular jammers that yeah. see the play time in, the, in their normal occupations, whereas uh, Blundstone is using more variety, although this jam is uh, not supporting that claim. Rainbow Roll on the line now, usually jammer for the Vipers. She gets her very quickly lead jam for the Blundstone Brigade. Rainbow roll, again uh, known as Slashini. Penalty box though is very quickly exiting, including Squirtel. So the power jam has ended. Rainbow roll uh, calls it off, probably a bit too yeah. early. Um, Squirtle still on her initial pass. Uh, she's able to get two points, though, for the Blundstone Brigade. 
Again, we're seeing the experienced Glitterazzi line come out of Heck and Ally, Beefcake, and Gorshak with Taboma. Skates for Niagara. Jamming for Bloodstone Brigade is no slack in the sack going up against Dr. Manhattan. Dr. Manhattan now lead jammer for the Glitterazzi. Slack gets knocked out by Gorshak and dragged back. And suddenly around now and scoring is the Glitterazzi jammer. Dr. Manhattan through natural grand slam for the Glitterazzi. No slack getting knocked, getting kind of manhandled here by Gorsatch, her teammate on the Chicks Ahoy. Oh, and a nice little hop of the apex for Dr. Manhattan for that second scoring pass. Another five points on the board, but Slack is now racing ahead, trying to force a call off. And she gets it. Jam called off now 63-34 after a 10-0 Glitterazzi jam. Just under four minutes to go here in the opening half. 10 more points for Dr. Manhattan. Now I believe this is the final event of the year at the bunker. Is that true, Kate Silver? No, I believe in I believe in August. Okay. I, I want to say the Toronto Roller Derby All Stars will be having two games. One of them will be against the uh, Kilimanjaro Roller Derby Travel Team, and there is another opponent who is yet to be named. Okay, thank you for uh, correcting me. The Derby Darlings back to the bunker for the first time in years. That'll be a nice uh, return for Kilimanjaro. Absolutely. The All-Stars played them last year. Uh, I was not on that team, but uh, did come out victorious. And so uh, that they took it to Kilimanjaro, Kalamazoo. So Kalamazoo is returning to favor, coming out here. And if memory serves, I believe that was the third time those two teams have played. And I think Toronto has picked up the victory every time. That's, that's good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's see what uh, Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro had a, a tournament, I believe, up in um, K-Down Shaketown. And uh, possibly picked up some more experience in those games. Back on the track. Jam continues. Grand slam for the Blundstone Brigade. It was a power jam as Blossom was in the penalty box on a back block. Blossom's return, star in hand, yelling for pivot, gets the star pass to Biggie Brawls. Crystal Queer coming around, has so far collected nine points for the Blundstone Brigade. She speeds up, passes a few, calls it off. Looks like that's two more for their Blundstone Brigade. So they've got 45, Glitterazzi 63, Less than two minutes left in the period. Another big jam from a non-traditional jammer. We just saw Robosexual pick up 10. Now Crystal Queer with 11. So going deep into the bench looking for jammers. Rainbow Roll though, uh, one of the more traditional jammers uh, in the rotation for the Vipers back on the line for the Blundstone. Up against Dr. Manhattan who has been very productive so far. Back in. Oh. And a cut on the Blunster Brigade. Power jam for the Glitterazzi. Both these jammers are, are key pieces of the jammer rotation for the 2017 Vipers. So they know each other well, but generally as teammates. By Furious, trying to slow up Dr. Manhattan. Probably good she didn't make much <laughs> contact because that would have been an out of play block. Pack now is being slowed up. Brittany Sears, goaded for Dr. Manhattan, who has a lot of momentum, comes around turn two. A nice little move from the inside out, picks up the Grand Slam. So every time the Blundstone Brigade gets a little bit closer, the Glitterazzi lay down a big jam, as we're seeing right now. Ten points on the board so far. I think Dr. Manhattan is uh, a big part of that. So far, 15 points on the jam. She, uh, I don't have the exact stats, but I would guess she has something like maybe I'd say half the points for the team so far. I think we could say that. We're allowed to make up the stats at the We're rollout. allowed okay. to speculate on this broadcast. 
We will not have enough time here to get another jam in the second half unless, or in the first half, unless there's a timeout called. That was a 19 nothing jam when all was said and done. Oh, and it looks like there was an attempt at an OR being called, and I think they're going to give it to Akuna Maitatas, <laughs> a.k.a. Swearwolf. Uh, the bench coach for the Vipers. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get one second left. So we are going to get one more jam in here in the opening half. I guess the Blundstone Brigade did not want to end on that 19 nothing jam for the Glitterati. Yeah, you want to get another more derby in. I think at an event like this, the more derby, the better. That's right. No matter what the score is. No ranking points on the line tonight. Zero ranking points. Bragging points. Potentially, if you're watching in Toronto, you can go to the Steady tonight for the 2017 rollout after party. And uh, you can uh, help one of these teams brag, whoever wins. That's all they get. So It's brag. You know, you could possibly buy them a drink. You could do that, too. But I think the bragging is the most important point. Everybody already paid for the shirts, so... You know, everybody wins. So uh, looks like that timeout is being taken as an OR, but no, it's not going to be granted. We are going to go into halftime. Sorry, no timeout. The OR was not given. I guess it was too late on the clock to call it. So we are into a, a 10-minute halftime. 82-45 is the score. I'm the Derby Nerd here with Kate Silver. We'll be back for a whole other half of der Derby coming up. See you in a few. Welcome back. You were back before we were. Uh, <laughs> we're here, Rollout 2017, live at the bunker. I am the Derby Nerd here with Kate Silver. Just finishing the first half of the Glitterazzi versus the Blundstone Brigade. Yeah, Glitterazzi 82, Blundstone Brigade 45. Uh, I guess before the game, we said these games are usually pretty close, but there's yeah. still 20 minutes to yeah. for the Blundstone Brigade to uh, come up with that differential. And um, Blundstone Brigade... Uh, able to take advantage of some large point jams. Meanwhile, Glitterazzi is keeping a little more consistent. Um, big scorers in Dr. Manhattan, yeah. usually known as Numb the Gers, case for the Toronto Roller Derby Vipers. And Blossom, as well, has been a big producer for the Glitterazzi. And she looks like she's on the line. And she'll be going up against. To Spirit, usually uh, goes under the name of Rainbow Fight. Or <laughs> wait, that is not—that is a completely different a fight. Fight of the Concords. I got my fights mixed up. Isn't that a Jeopardy category? Rainbow Fight of the Concords. Rainbow Fight of the Concords is <laughs> if they had a child. Blossom, however, gets out. Lead jammer for the Glitterazzi. Warrior Humper heading to the penalty box for the Blundstone Brigade right away. To Spirit going up against Gorshock and V Rex. The front of that pack as Blossom comes around on her scoring pass. Gets called on a back block. Second back block of the game for Blossom. Another power jam here for the Blundstone Brigade. As we mentioned in the first half, this is the game that is geared more towards beginner and intermediate skaters. Uh, so folks out here um, getting competitive, but also having a good time, a good way of kicking off the Pride weekend. Yeah, it also means we have a wide range of experience levels on the track right now. So uh, the blockers right now, actually everyone in that little clump at turn four is pretty experienced. Two spirits and um, heckin' ally, also known as Wheels of Misfortune, both uh, veterans in Toronto Roller Derby. Wheels of Misfortune, heckin' ally, doing a good job drawing uh, uh, two spirit all the way back, although... Now, heck and alley getting called on a penalty. Taboma heading to the penalty box as well. So two in the box for the Glitterazzi. Taboma also skates for Norfolk Roller Girls. And a lot of skaters in Ontario just get around. Like you've got the Peterborough, Lindsay, Northumberland crew. They all seem to, to skate well, with each other. Sometimes you don't get enough skate action in one league. So you uh, go nearby and get some more track time. And there's so many leagues in Ontario as well. It's just got to be hard to keep up those numbers continuously, too. It seems like every small town in Ontario has a league now, and there's a lot of sharing going on of resources, refs, NSOs, and, uh, and skaters between some of those leagues. That's right, nerd. That was something that really surprised me when I moved here. There just seemed to be every, every community that you could come up with. 
was able to have a league and have a community there. So I thought that was pretty cool. So that's going to be a 9-4 jam for the Bluntstone Brigade. So they're chipping away at that differential. 54, Bluntstone Brigade, Glitterazzi, 86. It's going to be Dr. Manhattan, the skater you were just talking about. Coming on the line for the Glitterazzi up against Devin Rex for the Bluntstone Brigade. I'm still shocked that you don't have Bluntstones in, in the States. That's just not a thing. It's not a thing in the States. Even uh, in Wisconsin, which is so Even close to in the Wisconsin, you'd think. You'd think that Wisconsin, it's... It touches a yeah. lot of Canada. And the Blundstones just haven't worked their way down. It's it's an Australian thing, but also a Canadian. Is it a Commonwealth thing? <laughs> maybe. Maybe that's it. It might be. <laughs> Dr. Manhattan got one out. Lee Jim gets through. Five-point pass for the Glitterazzi. Crystal Queer coming out of the penalty box. The pivot for the Blundstone Brigade just coming into your screen now. Devon Rex still getting hung up in the pack. Come against. That looks like B Brawls, Beefcake, and Venus Envy, as well as Squirtle. Giving them the business. Rex does now have a pivot on the track. But Crystal Queer seems focused on defense right now. She did pick up 10 points earlier uh, on a star pass, or, yeah, on a star pass. Put in a final hit on Dr. Manhattan. But another grand slam picked up for the Glitterazzi. Star pass now to Crystal Queer. She's out on her initial. Dr. Manhattan looking for a few more points. Calls it off. Looks like that's going to be another. Mm, just waiting for the jam ref to throw him. Looks like four, 14 point jam for Dr. Manhattan. Glitterazzi break the century mark. Nice offense from Beefcake. Beefcake is usually a jammer, so she's got that flair for the offense. Just nice timing on her sweeps. Getting an opportunity to block here regularly in this uh, rollout game. When you're a blocker who jams regularly, you know the importance of giving your jammer offense because when you get stuck up, it really sucks. Back on the track now. Speaking of uh, the skater, sometimes known as Wheels of Misfortune, jamming for Glitterazzi, but it's Rainbow Roll on the outside who gets through for the Blundstone Brigade. Heck and Ally held up by Showa Wrecker and Robosexual. Just evades that hip check from Showa Wrecker on the back stretch to get through. Meanwhile, Rainbow Roll back around and scoring points. Comes up against Gorshak on the inside. Tries to force the blocker out. V-Rex comes in for support, and that forces the call off just as Heckin' Ally was hitting the pack and did manage to steal two points at the end of that game. Five minutes away here, done in the second half, 20-minute halves in this opening game of the 2017 rollout. 102.57 is the score. Glitterazzi in the white ahead of the Blundstone Brigade in the black. Now Squirtle on the line going up against Two Spirit. These two are teammates on the Smoke City Bandits. Not Neither of them usually jammers. Squirtle forced to the outside by Crystal Queer comes in up against No Slack in the Sack and by Furious. Devin Rex holding the outside. Pack is just mixed up here on the far straightaway. Spew Spear gets out first. Lead jam for the Blundstone Brigade. A little bit more uh, Toronto Roller Derby history. Two Spirit skates as Fight of the Concords was the first ever graduate from uh, Toronto Junior Roller Derby to be drafted into Toronto Roller Derby. Ah, I did so, not know that. Yep. Yeah. Skated for two years with the juniors before joining the Vipers and eventually getting drafted by the Smoke City Bandits. Very cool. Looks like uh, Blundstone Brigade, Two-Spirit, two able to get three points on the jam. Heck an ally coming up for a pivot line start. Backs far away from each other. Now backing up on them. Blossom on the line going up against, I think that's a nasty muff for the Blunt Sub Brigade. First time we've seen her on the line in this game. Oh, and Blossom just dances along that inside line, gets lead jammer status before exiting, and you're right about Nasty Muff. 
first opportunity with the star this game. So the Blundstone Brigade looking to mix things up uh, on the offense, try and get things going now, down by 42. Loss, I'm caught up in this tripod here. Robosexual Brittany Sears. Nasty Muff trying to find some room on the outside. Looks like she gets through with no penalties legally Blossom. on her initial pass. Already picked up a grand slam and looking for more spins into the pack. Wasn't able to get any though. So 107.60, eight minutes in. 12 to go. We've got a whole other game coming out, coming up after this one. Featuring skaters from Toronto Roller Derby, Queen City Roller Derby, uh, Durham Region Roller Derby, Royal City. We've still got a lot of leagues to be represented in the second game. So many leagues. 3-4 pack advantage for the Blunsa Brigade. Squirtle, oh, almost getting through on the inside. Gets knocked to the inside by Two Spirit. Who's excited about that hit, but <laughs> looks like might not have been clean. And it was a low block. Squirtle, though, still not able to get through the pack. And now Beefcake going one on one against Devin Rex with Dr. Manhattan. Biggie Brawl supporting. Show a record, though, with a nice exit hit will drag. Squirtle all the way back to the apex. And now facing off one on one, putting some shoulders into Squirtle. V Rex with a drag back of her own. Show a record doing a lot of this on her own. She plays for the Niagara Charter team. Um, so, one of the more experienced skaters on the track, doing a lot of great one on one blocking here. And a forearm call will send the Glitterazzi jammer to the penalty box. Power jam opportunity for the Blundstone Brigade. They've been stuck at 60 for a bit. But Devin Rex still on a first pass, gets taken out by Beefcake. Devin Rex coming back up, dragged back. Beefcake in the back, going one-on-one. -on -one. Stars off, goes to show a wrecker. He does a little uh, backward skating move, comes through for an initial pass for the Blundstone Brigade. They'll be able to get the full power jam in. Squirtel is standing. We'll come back onto the track. Blundstone Brigade sets the defense. Show a wrecker tries to go outside. Very quickly transitions into the middle, but uh, cutting the track call from the outside. Comes in, power jam shifts now to the Glitterazzi's. That's rough. Comes in, looks like she uh, went through a little too easy. Squirtle just is able to sweep through on the inside. I think she's a little surprised he was able to get that too. Jam comes to his natural conclusion, so there'll be a power start for the Glitterazzi. Just past the uh, midway point of the second half, Glitterazzi up now 112 to 61. Still not quite double. The Blundstone Brigade hanging in there. It is a power start, and it's going to be not wheels of misfortune on the line. <laughs> Fake wheels of misfortune. Heckin' ally. Heckin' ally, thanks. Heckin' ally. Heckin' finds some room on the outside. Heck yeah. Gets heckin' lead jam. Nice speedy pass on the outside, and very quickly... Coming around the track as the pack slowly moves through the first apex. You see a lot of jockeying for position there. Crystal Queer leading the defense on the inside. Forces the jammer out. Still nothing there. Has to come back in and now finally gets through for the scoring pass. Show a record back in from the box. Slices through the pack. Heck and Alley calls it off before any more damage can be done. And that's uh, going to be 5-0 jam, Glitterazzi, 117 to 61. 8.40 to go. Empty penalty box, 5-on-5 five five here, and Beefcake getting an opportunity with the star up against Rainbow Roll. So two regular jammers. Beefcake trying on some new rolls today. Using this as an opportunity to try some new positions. Beefcake goes in. Rainbow Roll goes out. Now both readjust to the center. Rainbow Roll on the inside absorbs a hit and gets through for lead jammer status. Beefcake, meanwhile, heading to the penalty box on a back block. Power jam, Rainbow Roll in the Blundstone Brigade. 
Rainbow Roll able to find that ribbon the out on the inside. Looks like uh, the uh, team in white not doing a really good job of holding that line. Big Brawls held back. Goaded. Goaded like it's 2010. Goading's back, nerd. Haven't you heard? Yeah, it's great. I love it. <laughs> Rainbow Roll already has five looking for more. Ten so far, excuse me, on this jam, but five on that second pass. Beefcake back in the action. Rainbow Roll calls it off. Kicks up 15 points on that jam. 70, so 76, Blunt Summer Brigade. 117, Glitterati. So 41 points remains the difference. Seven minutes to go. Brigade with a little bit of a pushback here, though. Crystal Queer is going to get an opportunity with the star up against Blossom for the Glitterati. Jammers are released. Crystal Queer powering through the middle, but Blossom just a step ahead gets through his lead jammer status. Nice offense from Showa Wrecker. Forces Heck and Ally out. Blossom coming up about half a track ahead. Looking to hit the pack. Quick points. Does so. Passes a few hips. Gets two. But Blundstone Brigade is able to eke out one on that. 6.15 left on the clock, 119.77. V-Rex getting checked out by the paramedics, but just a little ice took a hit to the lower lip, it looked like. She's heading back to the Glitterazzi bench. No slack in the sack for Blunt Brigade going up against, that looks like Dr. Manhattan for the Glitterazzi. I can't help but not say that with kind of a twang. No slack, gets out first, lead jam. Four to Blundstone Brigade. Dr. Manhattan has about 50 feet to make up, but no slack is hustling. Goes right into the pack of Glitterazzi skaters. Hits her hips, calls it off, picks up. Two points. Two. Chatting all smiles with Gorsatch, her teammate on the chicks. Gorsatch decides to call a timeout on the way back from the bench to the bench. So five minutes to go in the opening game of the 2017 rollout. I'm the Derby Nerd here with Kate Silver. You are watching a Layer 9 production. Once again, a big thanks to Layer 9. I always say it, but it's the largest archive <laughs> of modern flat track roller derby currently on the net. Make sure that you dive in um, to the Layer 9 archives. That's on the left-hand side of the screen. If you are on layer9.ca, there's archives dating back all the way uh, to 2007, the history of... Uh, of Roller Derby here in Canada. Uh, and of course, if you're just watching, tuning in a little bit late, just getting home from work, if you go to the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a little eyeball in your screen. If you click on that, you'll get the rosters for this game that you're currently watching between the Bloodstone Brigade in the black and the Glitterazzi in the white. You might not recognize some of those names of your favorite <laughs> Roller Derby skaters, but at least you give me a sense of who we're talking about. So Shoel Wrecker and Heck and Ally uh, well, they start early. Looks like there's a pivot line battle. <laughs> Speaking of 2007. Yes. The toe stops on the pivot line. But they're going to reset right at the jam line. Five on five. Penalty boxes are empty. Blossom in the white for Glitterati. Crystal Queer in the black. And Gl uh, Blossom takes a big hit from Showa Wrecker. And that allowed Crystal Queer to sneak through on the inside to pick up the lead jammer status. Blossom thought she was called lead, uh, tried to call it off, but Crystal Queer was called lead, gets out through, gets a natural grand slam for the team in black. Just past the five minute mark. Don't count the Blundstone Brigade out yet. Looking to put some points on the board right now. A big hit from Heck and Ally. And V-Rex will supply the drag back. Crystal Queer almost in the clear. Star pass to Heck and Ally. She's coming around on her initial. Crystal Queer now working on another scoring pass. It gets through. Calls it off. So that's going to be 
10 points for the Bloodstone Brigade. Scores 119 Glitterazzi, 89 Bloodstone Brigade. So yeah, suddenly we have ourselves a 30 point game. Totally doable. Blundstorm again, slowly chipping away. Four minutes to go. Two spear hit up against Dr. Manhattan. Pack still full. Squirtle set up nicely on the inside, but it was a fake out as Dr. Manhattan able to sneak through outside just past Robosexual to pick up lead jammer status. Two spear gets out first, about half a track. Behind Dr. Manhattan, Pack speeds up a little bit as skaters try to sort out who's going to be where. Dr. Manhattan tries to find some room on the outside, hits the middle of the tripod. Oh, and two spirits going to come in and try and steal a few, just one point. But nonetheless, it'll be a 2 1, 3 1 jam. Steal of one for two spirit. Literacy 122, Blunson Brigade. About three minutes remaining in the game. Packs still full. Heck an ally up against Crystal Queer. Jammers release, Crystal Queer. Attacking the Glitterazzi defense now. Looking for a bit of a hole. Finally able to power past V-Rex on the inside. Lead jammer status for Lots the Blundstone Brigade. Falls here. <laughs> Lots of falls happening. Kind of a ping pong there for Heck and Ally. Crystal queer. Oh, big hit there. <laughs> a big collision with Squirtle. Knocks down basically the entire pack. <laughs> Crystal queer having none of it. Just powering through that pack. And the Blundstone Brigade with five points on the jam. Finally, a star pass being made. And Heck and Ally is through completing the initial pass for the Glitterazzi. Uh, looks like there's a big fall around turn three. Looks like everyone's all right, though. That's the thing about Crystal Queer or Gigawatts. She hits like a freight train. You wouldn't expect it. Also, an interesting fact about her, she is a trained ballerina. Oh, I didn't know that. She is incredibly flexible. Huh. There you go. A lot of uh, roller derby skaters come from hockey backgrounds or figure skating backgrounds, but ballet backgrounds, why not? You know, why not? Dr. Manhattan back in. It's dragged back by oh. a two-spirit. And there was a penalty called at the end of that last jam, so that was too crystal queer. So it's a power start opportunity here for the Glitterazzi, and they turn it into a lead jammer status. Looks like Warrior Humper thought she could draw the cut there, but it looks like she may have gone out of bounds. Crystal queer back in play. Looking to get through on her initial pass. We are into the final minute on the game clock. I have a feeling if this jam ends, there's going to be a timeout called. That is probably a good guess, nerd. Crystal Queer out and through. Oh! Big D hit. <laughs> and Dr. Manhattan's had enough, going to call it off, and a penalty being called as well to the brigade blocker. And a timeout, there it is, called by Gorshak and the Glitterazzi. So we're going to get one more jam here in the opening game. And, uh, Kate, you've got a game coming up. I do. I'm playing with Gazy. Yes. This is another and rematch. Will, another rematch year. from last year. We're going up against Beyonce. <laughs> so really excited for that. Uh, Going to see a lot of folks from a lot of different leagues. A lot of folks that I've played with before. A lot of folks I haven't played with before. And the level of, uh, of roller derby should be excellent. Some incredible skaters, skaters from the uh, WFTDA charters of Queen City, um, Royal City, and Toronto Roller Derby will be skating in that game. So uh, it should be an excellent game. Yeah, I'm really excited about it, nerd. We've actually had some incredible uh, games at, at Roller in the past. Uh, as I mentioned before, we've had skaters from Montreal Roller Derby, Bay Area, uh, Derby Girls. We've had... Um, yeah, incredible level of play at rollout throughout the years. 
and it's continuing here in 2017. Now we've got the pivot start again. This is great. Yeah, bringing the history back in. Okay, <laughs> seeding the pivot line. Heading back, 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 back to they the start line. They tried. They tried. Blossom once again jamming. Takes a big hit from Showa Wrecker. I feel like I've said that before. <laughs> it's a reoccurring theme in this game. Rainbow roll. Gets out first. Lead jam for the Bluntstone Brigade. 10 seconds on the game clock. It's 127.95 for the Glitterati. This will be our final jam of the game. And it's going to take a big one from the Bluntstone Brigade. But they're off to a big start here now. Five points on the board. Down 27. A minute 30 on the jam clock. Star pass to heckin' Ally. And Shoal Wrecker is going to take a seat in the box. So this is a 2-3 pack advantage at the moment for the Glitterazzi. Rainbow roll through for five. Calls it off. Maybe didn't know that there was no time left on the clock. But either way, everyone's a winner at rollout. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's a winner at rollout. Nice comeback from the Blundstone Brigade, though, down at 42 points at one point with yeah. about five to go. Only lost by 23 points. Glitterazzi, 127. Bloodstone Brigade, 104. Close game. Not bad at all. Not and bad. Glitterazzi now taking their victory lap. As we've mentioned, we've got a whole other game coming up, a regulation game uh, coming up here at Rollout 2017. Stick around for that. And of course, we're going to get a lap of love from the Blundstone Brigade as well. Excellent game from both of these teams. Absolutely. Really fun. Fun to say all those names. And it's wonderful to see uh, the Vipers, of course, we've mentioned them a few times. Uh, they are the farm team for Toronto Roller to be watching skaters like Dr. Manhattan and Rainbow Roll. Uh, who have just improved so much over the course of this season. I'm excited to see them uh, in Toronto Roller Derby next year. Absolutely. It's really fun to see the development of these skaters throughout the season. So we are going to wrap things up here for Game 2 because Kate Silver has a quick turnaround for Game 2. <laughs> Got to put everything on and get right <laughs> back out there. So I'll see you all in a couple minutes. That's right. We'll see Kate Silver on the track. Uh, I'm going to be doing the venue call. But we will have continued coverage of Rollout 2017 here on Layer9.ca. So please stick around. Game 2 coming up in about 10 minutes. Here we have Black Line accessories for all of your leather good needs. Hey Muffin. Oh, hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Excellent. Are you Good. I said, what are you doing? Oh, we're here like. Yeah. I'm super. Uh, like the dang oh, stalk, so we right we just yeah, we're like. No. Do you have anything that you'd like to say about rollout 2017? My goodness, I'm totally put on the spot. I don't really know what to say. I am also <laughs> being put on the spot here, so it is cool. And uh, everyone should come out and check it out. And if you miss it this year, then you come to next year. So I'm sure they're going to do it every year, right? Right. So, yeah, it's super fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, got anything? I really like these flaming <laughs> flamingos. Flamingos, yes. We have our new gym collection out. It's all Canadian made, bamboo cotton. It's super soft and super amazing. We've got a bunch of tanks. We've got T-shirts. We've got, um, like, these... Gym shirts with the big open sides on it. So when you're running, it's all like loose and airy and it cools you down. It's glorious. And then we have our like, all of our fun, super sparkly bottoms that just jazz up your outfit. What is your favorite uh, color for bottoms? Um, There's a whole rainbow. 
I know, but I'm gonna, I was gonna say rainbow, but it feels like I'm just saying that because it's rollout, but it's not. But I just feel like rainbow on the bottoms is so freaking adorable. Oh my God, where's Argyle? Argyle bought my most favorite print. And it's a it's a rainbow print, so she bought it for today. But it I I ran out of the fabric, so I can't even like promote to sell it. But it's great. Well, we'll catch up with her and uh, let you people at home know what Argyle is wearing. Thank you so much for this impromptu interview, Monster Muffin. I feel like we nailed it. <laughs> we truly did. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye. Super weird. Yeah, absolutely super, super weird. weird. Okay, we got we got two minutes to walk back slowly. Otherwise, we'll. This is uh, toward photographer Neil Gunner taking photos of the participants in Rollout 2017. How's it going? Good. Hi. Hi. This is so exciting. Should I? <laughs> this is so. This is so exciting. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. Wait. Get any good shots? Eh, one or two. Everything looks good on the little screen. But. <laughs> Wise words from Neil Gunner. <laughs> Hi. You have something to say? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Okay. I'll just... Oh, it's MVP right. ceremony. All right, here we are at the rollout first game, highly anticipated MVP award ceremony. We have Gorshak here with the, with the awards for the Blundstone Brigade as they anxiously await. They quiver with anticipation. Rainbow Roll has won MVP Jammer, a hard-earned, a hard-earned award. And our MVP blocker is in the washroom, everybody. I believe it was number 187 from the Blundstone Brigade. MVP Blossom. Blossom wins MVP Jammer for the uh, Glitterazzi. And Gorshak won the MVP blocker. The giver of the MVP awards is now receiving one. Look at them, thumbs up. They're highly esteemed awards. And now the ceremonial team photo to celebrate this big gay bout. Everybody be sure to appreciate the glory that is Swearwolf's outfit. That pirate hat is something to behold. Awesome. I am here to put people on the spot oh, God. because I have been put on the spot to do some interviewing. So how was that game for you? Uh, it was it was really uh, interesting because I did not expect to play the entire game. I had been uh, not playing for a couple months now. So this was my return to play game and um, got lead a couple times 
and I think my parents are watching at home, so hi mom and dad. Uh, and yeah, so I'm really happy. The entire team was amazing. We had some really good defense and offense. Uh, really, I was out of shape, so my team did some really good offense to let me just go on and pose at times, and it was just an overall good game. That's awesome. Do you have any big plans for the Pride weekend? Uh, yes, actually, uh, Tord is going to be in the parade, so I'm going to be skating. A uh, little PR over here. And I'm also participating in Family Pride weekend for me. Well, that's what Pride's all about. It's about keeping busy. <laughs> and Pride, remember, everyone, is not just a parade. It's something that we do every day. Yes. Wise words from an MVP. Thank all right. You. Thank you very much for your time. Thank Enjoy, you very much. Enjoy the after party.